this is a lens from your regular like, you know, pair of glasses and this is a distortion free lens it is quite evident from the side by side comparison that the distortion free lens is much better than the ordinary one most lenses used in glasses are either concave or convex that is they are curved and their curvature results in an inherent distortion in order to remove this distortion we would need the lens to be a flat lens a flat lens is a lens whose flat shape allows it to provide distortion free imaging potentially with arbitrarily large apertures flat lenses require a refractive index close to negative 1 over a broad angular range such refractive indices are usually obtained by using certain materials called meta materials which we shall learn about a meta material is a material engineered to have a property that is not naturally found in nature they are made from assemblies of multiple elements made out of materials such as metals or plastics the scale at which these materials operate are usually smaller than the wavelengths of the electromagnetic waves that they are meant to influence their structure shape and geometry are responsible for influencing these em waves this results in the material getting some smart properties in optics the fermat's principle governs the operation of lenses and states that the light follows the path along which it accumulates the least phase it bends towards the normal in regions of higher refractive index to travel a smaller distance where the wavelength is shorter and phase accumulates more quickly phase accumulates continuously as the wave propagates so a lens requires a finite thickness for waves to accumulate enough phase to be redirected as desired in 2011 however researchers at harvard university showed that if the phase of light waves could be changed discontinuously the light could be redirected as desired using a flat surface in their original work this was achieved using resonant metallic antenna that interfered directly with the electric field of the light but the antennae were difficult to manufacture and highly inefficient further researches have shown that such phase discontinuities can also be brought about using meta materials made of silicon these function by imparting a spatially dependent polarization shift as they pass through the elements these elements are simpler to manufacture and focus transmitted visible light much more efficiently but they still absorb or reflect too much light to make a viable commercial lens This clip shows how a flat lens focuses light by discontinuously varying the phase which the traveling light acquires. Better technologies for meta materials that work like this are under research. These materials are called nanofins. They are fabricated using electron beam lithography to make a pattern of silicon before depositing a very thin layer of titanium oxide. which transmits visible wavelengths much better than silicon such lenses are used to focus light at different wavelengths such a flat lens of around 600 nanometer diameter has enough magnifying power as a lens that is 5 to 6 cm wide though some of the best flat lenses these days have a focusing power of up to 86% of light a major issue faced is chromatic aberration Chromatic aberration can be seen in this picture. It is the inability of a lens to focus each wavelength of light to the same extent. Though this is not an issue in applications like microscopes or telescopes, but it is a great problem for commercial uses like cameras. We hope this was informative. Thank you very much.